Hey guys, welcome back to another day. So, more stuff with the EF today. So the other day I actually had a little bit of an emergency with this thing. Um, I was out at Sucks Creek, um, cause I was getting the aircon looked at on this thing. And um, yeah, so I got the aircon looked at, but then the V-band clamp, where the um, turbo mounts to the dump pipe, decided to snap. So I had to go buy another one of those. And as I was putting it on, the dump, the one of the welds on the dump pipe decided they wanted to snap as well. So I was stuck at Sucks Creek, my exhaust was snapped in half, I had to go get it re-welded. Um, thankfully I managed to get an exhaust shop just up the road to do it then and there, which was good. So huge thanks to those guys for doing that. And then I got it bolted on uh, just enough to get me home. So at the moment I'm just redoing all the V-band clamp to get it tight, the positioning of the exhaust and all that sort of stuff. So that's sort of what I'm doing now. And I might possibly do the throttle body clean on this one as well. So yeah, let's jump into it. Alrighty, so we got the new V-band clamp on there, which hopefully is a better quality one, because this one is an AeroPro V-band clamp, whereas the other one was just what came with the kit. So I don't know what brand it was, or obviously it wasn't that good because it snapped. Um, and yeah, the weld just there is where it snapped. So I got that all welded up. So right now I'm just redoing all the heat shielding. I'm kind of trying to keep it away from the elbows just so it doesn't get too hot because a lot of the times this heat wrap can cause stuff to crack and I don't think that's possibly what's going on. So the heat wrap is only going to be a temporary thing and then I'm going to get rid of it and I'm going to put proper heat shielding all in front of here and just above the dump pipe there. So it's like away from it, not touching it, but it's still protecting all like the brake lines and everything that are on the firewall here and the accelerator cables and stuff. So that's just a temporary thing. And then when I get paid next, I will go down to Autobahn or Repco, whichever one has it. It's only like 50 bucks to get a sheet of it. And I'll get a sheet, bend it all into the way I need it and mount it in there. And yeah. And then possibly put some heat shielding on the standard heat shield on there. But to do that, I have to take the turbo off. So I'll have to get some turbo gaskets as well. But yeah, we'll cross it bit when we come to it. So I've got that in position now. I've got that tight and you can see the exhaust is away from the body down there as it should be um and yeah we'll see how we go if it still continues to move i will get an exhaust shop to fix it by putting in a flex pipe down through there so yeah i'll just head up yeah i'll just head up to my guy at capalaba at reliable auto car and exhaust um they're pretty good up there that's where all the, all the exhaust work gets done on this thing um, and they probably will do the sump gasket for me as well because that is leaking and I don't know if I'm going to get time to do it myself. So yeah, um, let's get this throttle body off and start cleaning that out and hopefully everything should run a little bit better. New gaskets and everything, so. Right. There you go, so we've got the throttle body off here. So we'll give all that a clean out, fix up that little, um, get rid of all that carbon buildup that we got happening around there. See there's a little lip going on there. So we'll clean all that off. Just have a look in here. We'll give all that a bit of a wipe down. Yeah, it's, it looks pretty clean there, but we'll give it all a little clean just on the edge there, just to get rid of any of that. And all that carbon build up, and then we'll replace all the gaskets. Alrighty guys, so that's all clean. All that carbon build up's gone. And I've just gone through and cut two new gaskets. Not the prettiest, but they'll work. So yeah. Let's start throwing it back together. Alrighty, so the throttle body's all back together now. So now I'm just going to start it up, make sure it's running all good, and yeah. Alrighty guys, back for another part of this video. So today, I am fixing my driver's window because it doesn't go up. Um, the cable in it snapped a couple months ago and I replaced the motor and I fitted all that. But I think I did the bolts up too tight because now when it goes up, it's not going up even and it's stopping. So. I'm going to loosen the bolts a little bit and see if that works. And if it does, happy days. So let's jump into it. So I'm just removing all the little caps and then I'll undo the screws there, there, there. And then the ones all around the door and then we'll be able to pop it off. Alrighty, so I've got the door cut out. I've just taken the rubber off and I've actually taken the whole window out of the car and it's just sitting in there. Um, Cause what I'm going to do is I'm just going to inspect the little rails down there. And I'm also just going to fully clean out any dirt that may be sitting in there with some WD-40 and a rag and stuff like that. And then hopefully 
after I put it all back together, it should go nice and smooth. So we'll see how we go. Alrighty guys. We go down. And then we go back up. All good. Hey, what's going on guys? I'm back with another video. Um, so yeah, I've had a little issue happen yesterday. Um, as you guys may know from the previous video, I had a problem with my dump pipe snapping and falling in half. And I quickly wrapped the heat shield around a little bit, but not all the way down like it used to be. And the heat from the turbo has actually melted a hole in the brake booster. So we're gonna be repairing the brake booster. I haven't been able to find one. Um, I do have the old one from the previous brake booster video that I did a couple of years ago. Um, I still have that one in the shed. Uh, so what I'm gonna try and do is get that one repaired by a plastic welder place that is like specializes in doing all that sort of stuff. But for now, I'm just gonna use this stuff here, which is plastic weld. I'm gonna use that stuff there to repair the brake booster and then I've bought some heat shielding uh, sheet to go around the brake booster and that dump pipe. And I'm also gonna pull the dump pipe out again and because it's come loose again. So I'm gonna pull it out, I'm gonna wrap the heat shield all the way around it this time, stick it back on, try and get it tight and then I'm also, and then I'm gonna go get the dump pipe modified at the exhaust shop, exhaust shop so it actually stays in position because it's constantly coming loose and I'm sick and tired of it. So yeah, let's jump straight in, get this dump pipe off and then I'll show you the brake booster. So the car jacked up there, I'm just gonna get my spanner and my socket set out and unbolt the exhaust from the dump pipe. Right, so I don't know if you can see down there, but we've got the exhaust unbolted down there. So now I'm just gonna undo that V-band clamp and then we'll just um, unplug the O2 sensor and pull right, it out. So as you can see, just there is where it's kind of melted in. Let's try and get a little bit of focus on it. You can't really see because of the lighting down there. I'll just grab the torch. See guys, that's where it's um, punctured through. It's just kind of melted there. Focus. So yeah, we're gonna to try and patch that up and um, yeah, hope for the best. Alrighty guys, so I've just got that first layer on. I'm just gonna wait for that to harden a little bit. Because as you can see, it still looks like there's a little bit of a gap in there. So once that hardens, I'm gonna go over with another layer and then I'll probably do a third layer just to make sure that we're fully covered on that. And yeah, just go from there. Hey guys, back for day two now. Um, so, the glue stuff that I bought yesterday didn't really work, but we managed to get it covered with some other type of glue. Um, so today, I'm going to be putting this heat shielding on, just to kind of get it heat it up a little bit. And I'll also be putting this around the brake booster as a little extra bit of thing. This is aircraft tape. This is actually the stuff that um, airlines use to hold the plane together uh, in emergencies and stuff like that, or just manufacturing them as well. So I'm just gonna unlock the, unlock the EF here and um, yeah, get started. There we go, so I've got the heat shielding bent up in there, you know, covering that. I've got that aircraft tape up there. So that should reduce exhaust heat and also kind of just protect the brake bruiser a little bit. And uh, yeah, eventually, because it is just glued, I, when I can find one, I will get a new brake bruiser to replace it. Um, but uh, for now, I can't really find any around and I don't have the money to go buy a $700 one. So yeah, that's fine for now. Since we're running, so I'm gonna go take it for a test run and hopefully we'll be all good, but yeah. 